moving on to the next. So on week one, begin working with the image of a dot on a wall. It can be a black dot on a white wall or a white dot on a black wall. If it helps you, you can first do it physically with construction paper or using a black circle on a blank piece of white paper. Focus on the dot with your eyes open for five minutes. Then close your eyes for five minutes. Set a timer, and when you close your eyes, recreate the dot on the wall within your mind. Hold the image. Notice how much your mind wanders. When you catch your mind wandering, gently bring it back to the dot on the wall. Hold that focus. Building focus is an essential part of being able to direct and control our astral travel experience. Practice this four times a day for five to 10 minutes each time. The more you do this dot on the wall exercise, the more you will find that you can control your mind and hold your focused attention on that singular point. On week two, we'll add on to this exercise. Once you firmly establish the dot on the wall within your mind, hold that focus for five minutes. Next, imagine the dot expanding. Expand the dot until it touches the edges of the wall. As the dot expands, this now represents the veil between the physical and astral planes. In your mind, you can go up to this expanded dot and feel it. You can even pass your hand through it and get a sense of its texture. Don't move through it entirely yet. Just keep working with controlling the expansion of the dot and get familiar with the veil. Again, continue working with this exercise four times a day for about 10 minutes each time. Then on week three, we're ready to start astral traveling. Prepare by bags. having your Let's destination go. in mind before you begin. Get clear on it, plan it out, and then write it down. It may be helpful to set a timer for about 30 to 45 minutes to control the length of your journey. Remember to prepare your physical space, your body, and your mind before you begin. Once you're ready, start with the dot on the wall as before. Then expand it to touch the edges of the wall. And when you go up to touch it this time, visualize it extending to become a tunnel. Keep your destination in mind and now move through the tunnel to your destination. With astral travel, we can move at the speed of thought to anywhere that our mind can visualize. And when it comes to picking a destination, we can astral travel anywhere that we can imagine but it has to be a place we know exists. It's a place we can locate on a map or have some kind of knowing or clarity in mind about how to navigate there. If we've been there before or we've seen images of it and we can visualize that place or specific location, then we can travel there. It could be any place on earth or even someplace out in space like a star or planet but we need to have a specific image and a general direction relative to where we are now in order to know where to go. Google Maps and NASA images can be very helpful to identify where we're going. Once we pass through the tunnel, we're traveling at the speed of thought, which is why it is so important to control our thoughts. It's instantaneous. We set our intention on where we're going and that becomes our focus point. And in an instant, we're there. It can be that fast. All right. <laughs> if you stick Pretty to these too. guidelines, you'll have a safe experience and be in control. Now these steps I've given here are just a start, but if you feel really ready to take it deeper, I recommend seeking out a guide with the higher training and ability to hand down the more advanced methods. Through in-person training, we can be supported in the proper energetic space and learn how to set that space at the next level for our ongoing practice at home.